basically when we talk about outside causes of cancer, for example, like skin cancer. We are taught that skin cancer is caused by the sun, which, first of all, I am 10 right now, right? <laughs> yes. I am 10 all my life. I never used any kind of sunscreen ever. If you see me in, or saw me in January uh, in our Car Caribbean cruises, or you will see me in next January on the next cruises, you will not see me with any form of sunscreen. You will not see me out of the sun. I will be in the sun uh, six to eight hours a day. And um, you will uh, find out whenever I die, I will never have had skin cancer. So after 40, 50, 60 years of uh, sun without any prevention, I'm one of the healthiest people you can ever run into. The sun actually prevents skin cancer. What we did with our patients historically, we put skin cancer patients into the sun and the skin cancer usually disappeared uh, with a little bit of hemp oil on it within a couple of days. It's not really a big, big thing. So if sun causes skin cancer, mm, how come that uh, African Americans, black Americans have more skin cancer than, than white people? Do you see a lot of tanning black people on the beach? I have not. And um, on the other hand, vitamin, C, uh, vitamin D3 or vitamin D is, is produced by sunlight. Mm. When you have the, um, a lack of vitamin D, you develop any kind of deficiency because vitamin D is, is, is just a fundamental element for our health. And vitamin D prevents us from getting skin cancer. So if you don't have sunlight and you don't produce vitamin D, you automatically have a problem. But the skin cancer, Scott, is in my opinion only caused by the preservatives in the sunscreen. So all the preservatives and clogging the, the pores so that the mm -hmm. skin cannot breathe when you rub all this gooey stuff on you. Uh, and the preservatives in the sunscreen, that's what, in my opinion, is causing the main uh, load of skin cancer in our world. Mm 